Hey guys, welcome back to another thrift store jewelry bag unjarring, unbagging. I'm so glad you're here. This is something I like to do on my channel, which is find out what is in these mystery bags. We just never know. Many times it is junk, but along with the junk, there's always something to treasure. So there is no doubt in my mind that um, these bags to me are, I would say, 99% of the time are worth it. So if you enjoy that kind of thing, I hope you will stay tuned for this video and all that this bag entails. If you're new to the channel, please take the time today to subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell to activate that bell. All of these subscriptions are free of charge except for the join. I think I did add a join button, which is just kind of a, a little tip jar, I guess, if you want to support the channel. Your patronage is always welcome. I think it's established already. I'm not sure. And I am working on um, bringing you some perks for that membership. But otherwise, the subscri subscription is always free. Please be sure and join uh, the channel that way. And hit the thumbs up every time you watch a video. I'm going to open it as much as I possibly can here. And then I'll dump it out. And I will start with the jewelry of the day very shortly as soon as I get... A nice piercing here. <laughs> These bags are so tight, guys, that it's very hard to open them without breaking something or tearing into a necklace or something. So let me show you first. Happy Fourth of July, everyone. Miss Bennett, I've got the wonderful gift from you. Thank you so much. I do not have that book, and I was so ecstatic to get it. I absolutely love it. Every picture is more breathtaking than the, the next. So thank you so much. That was so thoughtful of you. I really do appreciate it. Let me say hello to a couple of people. Hi, Willow and Sanja. I hope y'all are well. Ava and Rosie and JPGR Mom from Oklahoma. Okay, is it okay in Oklahoma today? How's the weather over there? There's Miss Liz. How are you doing? I hope you're well, Miss Liz and Wenchy and Anna, and I think I said hello to Sanja already. All right, the rings of the day, we're keeping with our theme of red, white, and blue here, celebrating the fourth. But I did, my husband just brought me this little ring. This one popped out of the jar last time. He shined it up nice and pretty. I think that's Onyx. That is the cutest little ring. So he shined that up. That was from last jar or so, and we got the amethyst ring, and then we got this one. That would make a nice mid ring too. Fits nice there past that big knuckle but I do have a uh, I think these are sapphires and white topaz if I'm not mistaken or they could be something else they're a really pretty blue but this was a gift from Miss Zombie there Miss Liz sent me that in a friend mail a few years ago I love it this is one of my very first purchases from Jess Sandy I don't know if you watch her auctions over on Friday nights but she has a wonderful auction site channel as well Fridays and I bought this from her and I forgot I think she said it was a cherry garnet or I don't know what she called it but it is the most beautiful I have ever ever seen gorgeous and it has I think vermeil or it's all sterling but it's got some of these little um, granulated beads here in gold tone and then all that texture there so I love that and of course I have my wraparound rings this was a gift from Miss Dodds I love it and it also went well with my red white and blue theme I'm wearing my Tiffany diamond and ruby ring and that is what it is for today now let me show you the bracelets oh my gosh I am so excited to have this beautiful bracelet I cannot believe I found it it is I love link bracelets first of all so this is copper and it is big heavy links this bracelet must weigh a good I would say 30 grams. It's pretty hefty. Very nice, solid bead balls. I think these are like little rosettes. And my husband also polished that up for me just now. Earlier today, it's got a little box clasp. And look at that industrial size safety chain. I think they actually had to replace the clasp. I just noticed it looks like a brass uh, jump ring there. But it's gorgeous. I love it. And then the little mini ones from last time, the little mini pennies, wearing the James Avery again. And uh, this is a gorgeous Italian-made 14 karat gold and sterling silver cable bracelet. And I found this in a thrift store, thrown in a jar with a bunch of other bubblegum jewelry. So look at the cabinets too, guys. That, tr that treasure is there. That treasure is there for us to find it. There are lots of things that fall through the cracks whether or not they scrutinize that jewelry, you know, just keep looking. 
but we'll get started and if I don't say hello to everyone that comes into the chat it's only because I need to get started on the bag because I do have a, an auction today at 5 p.m. Central over on Facebook all those details are in my description box okay so oh let me show you these I got these on eBay I've been dying to get something from Thelma Deutsch I just love things with my name on them and I wanted to buy some of her jewelry but it is out of reach it is vintage very very high highly sought after vintage brand so I found these she took an offer I think I got them for less than 20 but I love them they're a clip-on but I got them merely because they are signed with my first name <laughs> And, you know, when you have a name as rare as Thelma and then you see it, at least that's the way I am. My husband says, yeah, that's the way you are. <laughs> he says I'm silly, but I am. So I'll buy things with my name on them when I see them. Anything from authors I've never heard of through these fa <laughs> fabulous jewels. And they are signed there, Thelma Deutsch. And you need to look up her work, guys. She is such an artisan. I mean, beautiful designs beautiful designs and these rhinestones are immaculate they are so well made so nice little clip on stoma deutsch so i have to show you that and then we'll see the rest of the jar here all right we've got a gold earring we'll put the gold earrings aside let me bring the camera down just a tad so we can really concentrate on the jewelry i hope okay here we go we have a gold stretch Oh, look at this. This is pretty. This has that Mexican folk art. Well, some people call it folk art, but it's actually the Virgen de Guadalupe. And lots of um, art has been made recently as of late with her image. This one's very pretty. These are actually bottle, bottle caps, right? And then they have her image all around. That is beautiful. Oh my gosh, my gosh, I've seen a lot of this kind of work, but mostly with bracelets. I've never seen a necklace. That is really, really pretty. I love that. That's going to have to be a keeper for sure. I love that. And look at that cork in the back. That's so interesting. Kind of a decoupage work. I love it. That's a nice piece. Okay. Let's see what this is. Hi, Linda. Happy fourth to you as well. All right, this has a big rhinestone bead ball. It has acrylic. This is gorgeous, actually. I don't know if this would go to the side or how you would wear that. Maybe to the side with that or even in the back. It would look pretty. This is all acrylic. And uh, it looks like an agate or something, like a faux agate or some kind of quartz. But it's a very well-made piece. I really like it. I love the beiges and the creams for summer. That is so pretty. I like that a lot. Here's a watch. We always get the watches. Rhinestones all over the face there. Here is a... Why do they make... I don't know why they make some of these necklaces stretch. I think that's so strange. Oh, okay. I will check that clasp to see if it's magnetic. That makes sense. Thank you. All right, here's a little, uh, oh, this is cute. What the heck is that? looks like something was in there, but I like it because it looks like a bell. Look how cute. I love these um, layered looks. I, For my auction, I've recently been putting together a lot of layered looks, like three or four necklaces that I think will work well together, so I really like the look of that. Let me pull you back just a bit. I keep going back and forth sorry about that that's really pretty though it looks worn and i don't know what it is or maybe something was dangling from there as well because it looks like it's missing something but that's cute okay more earrings little bangles this one's a cute bangle it's got some rhinestones there a little worn but maybe a cleaning would help I'm not sure about that. Here's a, I think these are the glass ones. These often don't make it through the bag. They wind up broken. These are silver and gold tone. I don't believe they're sterling. 
only because of that type of clasp. I usually don't see a clasp like this on, on genuine sterling or anything. Okay, here's a watch, bracelet watch. This is pretty. Is that Brighton or Vanity Fair? What does that say? Yeah, it says Vanity Fair. Probably a gift with a subscription. Right? Or is there a called Vanity Fair? There's a lingerie brown, I believe, also by that name. That's a beautiful little watch. Rhinestones in pink. Kind of a, what do you call it? A cat eye look there. That's a pretty watch. And here is a bracelet with a... It says mother, it has a little girl's charm and a heart toggle. And it's also a stretch, which is, to me, again, kind of redundant to have a stretch and a clasp. I don't think you need both. But that's just me. Okay, here's another one of those Jasper bracelets. I had one last week that I wore with my watch, and then I wound up selling it. They're so pretty. Look at this dark chocolate one. Oh, I love that one. That is so cute. Okay, here's something that's tagged. It's $8. That's cute. It's got little feathers. It's a cute cuff. I like that too. I'm not going to put that one on because it has a tag. Okay, then I'm not going to pull. I'm trying to pull from the top so I don't pull all the tangles up with it. Okay, here's a little leather. Oh, cute. Look at that, guys. That's turquoise. That looks like sterling. That's an awesome bracelet, but who knows, because look, there's a little verdigris here. Mm, it really looks like sterling to me. And that de it's definitely turquoise. Let me look at it with my loop. That's a cute bracelet. Yeah, that's de definitely genuine turquoise. And I'm going to test it for sterling because it looks like sterling as well. It really does. Let me see where the magnet is here. And we'll check that. Let me get my heavy magnet. It's my heavy magnet. <laughs> it attracts everything. <laughs> uh, yeah, that doesn't stick, so I think that's genuine. Oh my God, I grabbed this other bracelet. Sorry about all that noise. This is cute. I'm liking this a lot. Let me just have to put that on. Maybe just the tips are not sterling, but I think this, no, I have to squeeze it really tight. It's kind of on the big side. That's gorgeous. That's a score right there. I love that. That is really cool. Okay, let's see what else we have. Oh, this is pretty. These are all glass. Yeah, that's a huge magnet. <laughs> My husband's always finding me these industrial magnets. Magnets. This is cute. This is loft. Very nice chain, too. It's a little bit of, it's got a little wear in the tip here at the ends, but I like the texture on it. It almost has like a gunmetal look to it, but it's also got some shine. That's beautiful, and it's got a beautiful AB color to it. Oh my gosh. That's really a nice little charm necklace with all of those sparkly dangles. Loving that one for sure. Okay, let's go to the top here, the cute. Oh, this is all together, beads, chains. Welcome everyone, I'm so glad you're here. Oh, it, oh my gosh, that's cute. And I was just putting together a little fish, I just found a little fish brooch that I wanted to sell. That is so pretty. Oh my goodness, no maker on that. I am so surprised. That looks really well made. Really pretty. Okay, nice to get brooches. Here's a big ring. Is that sterling? I don't know, I can't tell. I don't think I see a mark, but that is so cute. Looks like a little folded or rolled up paper or something. Let's see if it sticks. Could, I think it's silver tone. It looks like silver tone. Well, the, the bangle stuck, but the, the ring didn't. But that doesn't mean that it's silver. You still have to test. Just a preliminary test is all that is. Because uh, magnets are not attracted to certain things, but they're still attracted to... They're not attracted very strongly to copper. 
So it could be a copper base, but that's a gorgeous ring. Let me look around in here, though. It might also be stainless. Okay, it's, it's got a mark in here. But I don't see what it says. It looks like a little crest or something. I'll have to test it. It's gorgeous, though. See, it looks like it's got a little mark inside there. I don't know if you can see it. It almost looks like a crest. Am I showing it to you in the right spot? Somewhere in here. Regardless, it's cute. I'll let you know. Oh, that is. But it does have a little thing, like a little crust or something. Very unique piece, though, don't you think? Let me take a drink. Hi, Michelle. You're from you're watching all the way from Kuwait. Wow. Okay, more little earrings, guys, in the gold variety. Another glass beads. I mean, <laughs> glass bangle. This is glass. It's so strange. I think I had this earring from last time. This is a fresh one, guys. My husband brought this one home to me today. He went to work pretty early. They actually have senior times, too, for shopping. So I think they may have let him in at 830 and he found one. I didn't even send him, and I didn't know he was going. I just thought he was going to work. But I guess he decided to check it out. More earrings. Here's a ring inside of here. This one looks like silver tone, adjustable with a pearl on it. Sometimes these silver tone ones have real pearls too, though. Oh, thank you, Miss Resells. I appreciate it. All the way from Northern Ireland. Wow, this is beautiful, guys. This is a genuine pearl. Probably my size. Perfect size, red, white, and blue now. There we go. Now we got the spirit. Let me see what it says on the inside. Oh, gosh, I love pearls. Do you guys like pearls? No, it is silver tone, guys, but it is definitely a pearl. And that's probably a crystal. Yeah, that's a real pearl. And it's on silver tone, and that's probably a little crystal there. That's a gorgeous little ring, though. I like it. All right, we'll put that one on. This is pretty. It's got a little, um, I think, Asian-themed bead on there. It's got some melon beads and vintage-looking clasp that appears to be marked. Let me see what it has. Guys, don't forget to hit that thumbs up on the way in or out if you got to go. I know these videos take a while when they're live, but I so appreciate you being here. When you hit that thumbs up, it really helps grow the channel. So I appreciate that very much. No, there's no mark on it, but that's a pretty bracelet. And I'll have to check those beads and see if those aren't sterling because sometimes people take apart old bracelets and necklaces and make new ones. And many times they do have, boy, that whatever. Oh, this little Jasper is making lots of pretty noise <laughs> that I put now that I put it on. A little Jasper bangle. And if I didn't say hello, it's because I'm just trying to get through the bag, but I sure appreciate you being here. A little gold tone also. I think this is a broken, more earrings, we'll get those together in a minute. I think this is a broken statement piece here, but it looks like it, no, it did crack. I believe it cracked there. So um, we can just use it to repair other things those are huge or i could put it in a crafter lot and someone could probably make a bracelet out of it or something you can just do so much with all of this jewelry repurposed always works okay more gold this these are interesting beads here very nice i'm gonna move the jasper for just a minute Till I get another one between it. Oh, these are beautiful. Look at these little huggers. They're pearls. Those are really cute. Let me take a look at these close up. See if I don't see any marks or anything. No, these look like gold tone and faux pearls. Very nice though, those are beautiful. Another one. 
of brooch. Oh, I love the brooches. That looks like it needs to be cleaned, and it may be, is it missing any pearls? No. Little bar pin, 1928, you can tell by the scroll in the back. Very cool. Love getting the brooches. Again, this was a $90 jar purchased this morning. Little angel pin, dragonfly, oh, that's cute. That's a nice taut stretch bracelet with a little dragonfly and the prettiest peach. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. I may have to put that with that ensemble that I have going on right now with these same colors. That'll be pretty to sell together. All right, we did get a match on some of these earrings. Nice. And these are already together and carded here. These are glass, gold tone. Cool. Oh, there's a tangulation in there. I'm afraid to get in it. What is this, an earring? I know I've seen this earring before. Oh, well, here it is. Here's the match. Don't know. I thought I had seen it somewhere else or something similar. Well, look at these. We'll stick those in a bath. Those will be nice. Those will straighten those feathers out. That'll straighten those feathers out to give it a little bath, you know? Those are earrings. Rhinestones, beads, feathers, the whole nine yards there. Wow. Okay. This is gold tone in here. Let me unhook that and see what comes out. So we have a bit of a tangle here. And that's such a pretty chain. I love those serpentine chains and snake chains. Okay, here it is. This is cute. This is really well made too. It looks like a napier for some reason to me. But I'm not sure. No, no mark on it. And it does have the two-tone silver and yellow gold colors there. Silver tone and gold tone. Very nice one. This is a stretch bead. These are pretty. They almost look like the color of hematite. They're not as heavy as hematite. I think they're acrylic. Okay. <laughs> Somebody wants us to cut? Sometimes we do have to cut, and usually I'll do that if it's not worthy of saving for some reason. Many times they're already broken in some area, but no, I try not to. Like these, many times I've sacrificed those if they're not that great, but that's kind of pretty actually, so I won't, I will, that'll be a last resort. This is pretty, guys. This is long and a beautiful heart. Look at that little swirly heart with a really long, like 36 inch chain there. That's gorgeous. Very heavy too. I don't think it, oh, let me see, is it marked? It looks like it might have a mark right there. Let's see what it says. Nope, that's just a little scratch. That's just a little scratch. I do not see anything anywhere, but that's beautiful. That is a very nice piece. Okay, here's the illusion one. Very nice and earthy colored here. Looks kind of tribal or something. I like that. That's pretty. I like when they use the coordinating colors on the wires too. Very nice. This is all acrylic. All right, let's dump out a little bit more. See what pops out of that. Okay, we have a couple of bangles here. Wow, these are together, look at that. These could use a cleaning. And they're a little big, for me anyway. Interesting though, I've never seen only two entwined like that. Interesting. And 
These are shell. Look how pretty. Oh my gosh, look at that gorgeous mother of pearl. That is so nice. It looks like it's coming apart or it was in the process of making. That'll go in a crafter lot. No, I think I'll put this in my bead lot. That is really pretty. Someone was gonna probably make a bracelet and a necklace out of that. And that is really beautiful. And those are little chunks as well. I don't know what the white beads are. Those are, see they put a little safety pin. Like they were in the process of doing something with that. Hi, Miss Debbie, how are you? I hope you're well. That's a nice addition to a bead lot. Okay, what else is here? Let's pull out something from here. Oh, this is cute. Faux turquoise, but so cute. Kind of a pewter colored heart there. And some faux turquoise on a chain with, what is this, Lucky Brand? Oh, this is that name that starts with a P, I think. I never know what it is. I think, there it is there. Can't read it, but it looks like it starts with a P. And that's really pretty. That's kind of a 24 inch necklace there. I like that. Yeah, that's really pretty. Hope the lighting's okay, guys. I'm always moving it around. Trying to establish it for every video I do and then reestablish it. All right, we're just going to dump it all out. $90. What did you buy? Oh, this is cute. That's a pretty color. This is one of the prettiest bracelets I've seen with this kind of design. That is so pretty in that orange. I love it. Okay. A stretch. That's probably an anklet. That's what it looks like to me. Earrings, bangles, more bangles. Let's put these bangles in the bangle tray. This looks like a copper one. This one's nice. And more of these bangles came out. All here. This is broken. Okay, this is metal. I thought this was a glass one. Okay, so these are a few. I love the orange. That's pretty. I like these. I like them stacked. But they, some of these little thin ones, I just recycle them because they get all bent sometimes. And I think I've gotten this one before, big puzzle of bangles. Really interesting. They're kind of fun to fidget with too, fidget jewelry. Okay, you need to get out of here. Come on now, there you go. <laughs> Again, my contention, that is what invented the, what prompted the uh, jewelry jar. These are troublesome to untangle and they get the donations of it and piles of, un of tangles. So they just grab that scoop and put them in a bag, sell them as a lot. That's a nice bead lot there, addition rather. Okay, here are the bangles. Oh my gosh, there they go. There's a little Thunderbird in here. How cute! He is cute. I think he's silver tone, but he's darling, and he's in here too. Let me get him out of here. Let me get him out of this mess. Look at that. With an earring, no less. Okay. And this may even be two necklaces. I have no idea. Hi, Linda. How are you? Thank you guys again for popping in. I appreciate it. If I didn't say hello, it's not that I don't appreciate you being here. Just trying to get through these tangles and not keep you guys here more than an hour. That's probably impossible, though. <laughs> oh my gosh, what a cute necklace. Uh, not even real silver. It's darling, but it is tangled. And yeah, it's part of 
one necklace. I'm just going to leave it, guys. But it is, here's the bangle. I think these are real copper, if I'm not mistake, mistaken. And I've had these before. They're very nice. And there is one necklace tangled up in here. And it's really beautiful. Well made. Faux turquoise, but darling. Cute look there. So I'll get that to my husband to untangle. Let me take a drink real quick. Let me say hello to some more people. Hey, Linda, how are you? Elizabeth is here as well. Myrna and Kim. Guys, thank you again. I appreciate it. Yeah, let me see. For you two, new V Jewelry too. how are you? And uh, let me see. I think I've said hello to everyone else. Looks like 95 people are here. Go up and hit that thumbs up, guys. It's just a little bit of a trek from the chat to the screen. There's two thumbs there. Be sure and hit the one pointing upward. I do appreciate that. And if you haven't subscribed, I hope you do so today. Ken Wynn, how are you? Ken Wynn, how are you? Hope you're doing well. I am going to have an auction today, guys. I know I had one during the week. But that was just an experiment. I am still having one today at 5 p.m. Central over on Facebook. So all the details are in every video at the, at the description box. To join, you just have to hit agree. It is a free subscription over there, or a free membership, rather. And it's always a free sub subscription here. Okay. These are pearls on some organza ribbon. Very pretty color. I think I'll put that in a beadlock too, because these are nice. Very cool. Okay. Got a stuck earring. This is a heavy, Is this must be magnet, yeah. I think these are magnetized beads, the silver ones, and these, they are gold. Hey, Miss Catherine, I wrote to you uh, in a private message so we could talk about uh, that off of the uh, comment section. Isn't this gorgeous? J. Crew. Oh, that's a cute bangle. Look at that. Hot pink. That is pretty. Here's another pretty bangle. This one is Kate Spade or what? No. What is this? Old Navy. Ann Taylor. Oh, there it is. Ann Taylor. That's a nice one, too. That's a good fit, too. This is pretty. Two turquoise. This is Kendra Scott. Awesome. Awesome. This paid for the bag right here, guys. This is probably a, br a bracelet that retails for $150. So I could probably sell that for $40. 40 to 45 depending if I bring it to auction or whatnot. But that is beautiful. And she does use genuine stones in her jewelry, even though they may be... Um, they're not precious metals, but she does use gemstones. That's gorgeous. Oh, I love that. That is so pretty. I'm going to have to put that one on on the other side over here for now. So I don't forget to bring it to the auction. Okay, here are the paper rolled beads. These are nice too. Bead lot. And what else do we have? Oh, these are garnets guys and this is vintage i found one similar to this not too long ago but it was on a drawstring cord this one's gorgeous oh my gosh that is so pretty that is a really pretty strand they have clusters then they have little stations of kind of a marquee cut of garnet that is gorgeous and then that vintage barrel clasp that usually indicates a vintage piece. Wow, these are lovely. Just beautiful. Another stretch here. This is, uh, I don't know, turtles. This looks like children's jewelry, actually. And it has little turtle. No, those are stars. Little stars all around. Very cool. Here's some beads. Um, let me see here. Uh, tangles again. Tangles again. Okay, we've got some wood beads that are on a string. 
that I may have to cut because <laughs> because I'm gonna put in a bead lot anyway. So let me cut this one just to make it easier for us. And I'm gonna put all of these beads in a bead lot anyway. So that is a big, big tangle right there. Teddy bear. Yeah, that little string is pretty worn anyway. It's got, it's definitely seen better days. So let me cut that off and get out of this tangle. Okay. And then we have some green beads in here too. And I'm gonna cut those out too. And those will go in a bead lot as well. Okay, so we have the beads aside now. And I was trying to get these little shells out of here. Oh my goodness. All right, let's look at this. We got a red bangle. Very cool. We have some leather. Oh, this is a cute leather tassel, guys. That's probably a purse charm. That would make a very nice purse charm, actually. Or a key ring. So that's pretty. Let me see if I can bring some of this up and some of it will drop out. The magnet ones are quite invasive too because they make everything stick to it these are very pretty though and these you can roll up and make a bracelet or you can do a necklace and these are very nice they have like a little cloisonne bead as well very nice this is a crocheted really nice button pearls Drawstring bracelet, that's gorgeous. Hey, Joellen, thanks for being here. I appreciate everyone popping in today. Here is another necklace that is attached to another one, of course. Let me see what this is, okay. This is strange. Okay, one necklace inside of another. There it goes. All right. Boy, just when I think I untangle it, it tangles itself with another one. Okay, this is, you know what? I almost feel like this was a lanyard or something, or they were going to hang something else there. Maybe a tassel. Maybe that tassel that I just took off. Who knows? That's nice, though. Lots of these will go in a beadlock because they look like they were unfinished. These are faux turquoise. I believe these are faux turquoise. Sometimes they actually mix them, but I'm gonna look, because some of them do look real. And then these look like dyed halite. But then the ones that have the matrix that you, look, there's even a clear quartz in there. So I'm saying it looks like some are real and some aren't, but we will take a better look. Regardless, it's a very nice strand of turquoise beads colored beads, faux or otherwise. We have a gold earring. Little pieces of chains here. Oh my goodness, that poor watch band, look at that. If anybody's interested in a huge lot of watches, please PM me. <laughs> please email me because I have some great watch lots and I can fill probably 100 or 200 in a 14 or $19 box for you, and I'll give you a great price on them. That's a very nice beaded bracelet, very pretty colors. And what is this? Oh, that's a big um, earring hoop, hoop earring, big. 
That is huge. Okay, more stretch from this company. Looks like something from Wish or something, I don't know. Here are some green beads. This one's cute though, this one here is a suede, this is metal, enameled, and then this is a piece of suede, real leather, suede leather. Quite interesting there. I think I showed you this angel pin, did I? Here is a bracelet, it says dream, cute. See what else we'll drop off here that we can look at. Sorry about the shaky camera, guys. Okay, this is nice. These are acrylic, green, big medallion on the bottom. This is very thin and lightweight. All of it is lightweight. But very nice look. I like that. That's pretty. Always get these seashells, always. Incredible. And they came out. And I have a whole lot of seashells too. That's a whole separate category here. And I think I can look at this one now. Okay, I think this is all together chains and beads, wood beads, gold tone, and silver, oh, there's an earring on there. I'll take that out. Right here. Okay, yeah, gold tone, earth tone beads of all sor sorts, metals, acrylics, and wood. I don't believe any of these are glass, but that's a nice look as well. Very long necklace there. Very cool. Another, did this fall off? <laughs> yeah, I think I had it on and it fell off. Same one, okay. Same bracelet we just saw a minute ago. This is a pretty earring. I think it's sterling. I'll have to wait and see if I get a match on that. Here are some blue beads. Kind of a vintage look, but I don't believe they are graduated beads. They have a lobster. That's a pretty color though. I like that. Very nice. And then this is, I think a button. Yeah, it's a button clasp. Very cool. Made nicely with greens and blues. Very cool. I like that a lot. <clears throat> Excuse me. I think this is a hairband. I think I'll put that in a bead lot because those are some very nice bugle beads. More seashells on the necklace here. And oh my goodness, I may have to cut this one too because it's stuck in there. No, there it is. Not too bad. I'll just leave it in there for now. More of the seashells. We always get the seashells. And this is a an earring that appears to be sterling, actually. It is marked. It's twisted. It just needs to be reshaped, backed in place, and hopefully we'll get that shined up and doctored up. Hopefully we'll get a match. So it's really cool. Thank you again, guys, for being here. Be sure and hit that thumbs up. If you got to go, don't forget to do that. If you're new, please subscribe. I did add a join button, and I'm going to be adding perks to that. I'm thinking of that. That's a kind of a tip jar. I think it's already established. It had to be approved. So if you guys are inclined, take a look at that. Oh, my goodness. How is this? Hold on. It looks like, it looks like I am losing power here. I don't know why. But let me try to punch this in again and make sure that it's plugged in.
And all because it's telling me it's on low power. I don't know why it does that. Sometimes the cords are so heavy, I guess, but that's what happens. They get, they kind of move away from the, from the outlet inside the phone. So let me try to get through this a little faster. More stretchies, hoops that are out of shape, and bangles, lots of bangles. Uh, I don't know what this is, some kind of a stone. Very interesting. I think this is real leather, nice clasp. It's a pretty piece. Do you guys recognize that stone? And there's a gold tone there, more bangles. I love this bangle. Look at that, guys. Blue, mother of pearl, all inlay. That's gorgeous. That is a beautiful bangle. Look how pretty that looks with the white. Here's a stretch. Okay, these are gems. These are gemstones. Very nice. And then this is a purple one. Purple bangle. This is a pretty one. These also appear to be gemstones. And I think, I don't think they're a part of this necklace here. Okay, separate necklace. Very cool. Looks like fluoride in there, carnelian, tiger eye. Cool piece. Very nice. Boy, uh, Miss Bennett sent me a catalog of jewelry. I so enjoyed that one too. She sent me a couple of books. And that jewelry is so beautiful, Miss Jen Bennett, if you're still there. Thank you again. I loved learning about all the stones and the prices. I could not believe the prices. And it just reinforced my, my contention that, you know, you should make, you, if you can, to try to, when you sell them secondhand, start at a reasonable price. <laughs> but realize that you're getting an awesome buy because the gemstone rings, I mean the moonstone rings, a tiny little moonstone ring, $150. Just incredible. Well made and beautiful ones and they're not. Most of them were made in the U.S. and marked and you know hallmarked and everything. Just beautiful. But I really appreciated seeing all of that because I don't go shopping for things uh, on the market. I like to, That's why I also like to get the department store catalogs and the jewelry catalogs from Hardy and of course, James Avery and Tiffany and all of those so that uh, you can see what those prices are. They are really very high and, uh, you know, because you are paying for the design. And I hate people when people say you're paying for the name. You're not paying for the name. You're paying for the quality in the name and the uh, not the intrinsic value, but the art artisan, the art, the sheer art of the execution of some of these pieces. So it's good to of what these prices actually are on the retail market. Look at that. I love that. I think that's gorgeous. That is brass and just amazing on leather cords. Really pretty. And that's just some beads that came out of that one we popped because <laughs> we tore into because it can be redone. Oh, this is cute. Magnetic. This is like that volcanic rock. I believe, or made to look like it. So pretty. And look at this red glaze and gold glaze on these other beads. I don't see a mark. It's interesting though. Look, they put a clasp and they put a magnetic clasp. I don't understand that. Maybe it's two pieces. I don't know. I'm not sure why they would do that. Maybe to extend it in some way. Have you guys ever seen that? That's awesome. That is really cool. This is nice too. I love the combination of the turquoise colors with that bronze. I love bronze and copper. They're my one of my favorites too. And oh, this is cute. This looks like a really nice brand too. Look at that drawstring. That is so nice. Look at that beautiful butterfly, pink, purple, blue, black, rhinestone, silver. Then that, this almost looks like a Kendra as well. Let me see if I see anything on that. 
Sometimes Kendra Scott's logo is tiny. I don't see it on this one, but I'll take a better look because that's a gorgeous, I think it's a bracelet, not an anklet. Very cool. Here's a nice drawstring one, Rose Gonzalez, it says. A little uh, kind of a, I don't know, is this called faggot or macrame? No, faggot is the like the buttons, right? I forget. Very cool. These are big, giant 1980s specials like no other. Fabulous. Here's a big, huge one, too. Statement piece. That's what I was thinking. Thank you very much. Desh How are you, my darling? This shit, I haven't seen you in so long. Oh, my goodness. I'm so happy to see you here. It's one of my very, very long-time subscribers, and I so appreciate you, honey. I hope you're doing well. Look at that. These are the paper ones as well. People craft these by hand, guys. These are amazing. And I love this combination of colors. And then this one says, I don't know, it's the kids, I think. It's got a B. I don't know what it says. Love. What, maybe it's an alphabet. Yeah, it's just a lot of letters. That is so cool. I may have to send that to my granddaughter. So she has fun with the alphabet there. Oh, here's another pretty one. This appears to be some kind of a ceramic. Very nice look, though. They made it look kind of like an agate. And then they added some really pretty glass, some faux turquoise. Lots of pretty seed beads to that. The colors are amazing. So, so cool. We'll match up a lot of these earrings later, guys. It looks like we did get a lot of matches on those earrings. Oh, look at these oversized. These are cool, too. <laughs> These are the, the pearl color that's kind of on the silver side. Huge, beautiful piece there. Here's a cuff bracelet. Oh my gosh, a Tiffany. Oh my gosh, I hope that is right. 1997, you know I'm taking it to the store as soon as they open. It says 19, I've never seen one that actually has the date. Tell me what you know about Tiffany. This is very weighty. It looks very, very Tiffany and Company. Worth the 90 bucks right now, babe. I am so happy. Thank you, thank you, thank you to my husband. <laughs> He's going to be, see, I bring you luck. Oh my gosh, this is so cool, guys. Tiffany and Company Cuff. It says 925 T and Co. 1837. And it has wonderful tarnish that silver gets. So I'm thinking it's real. I am ecstatic. And I'm going to go get him to polish it. Just a tad, but then as soon as I find out the store hours, oh, it's a little small. You know what? This is making me think it's real Tiffany as well because Tiffany will customize your sizes. As a matter of fact, the one I'm selling at my site over at Facebook, my Facebook group, was made was ordered for my daughter who wears a six and a half six, and I wanted to keep it and buy it from her actually, but it didn't fit me. And very few counterfeit people will actually make something in more than one size. Okay, they're not going to do that. So this all is leading me to believe this is a genuine Tiffany & Company. It's too small. <laughs> it's too small for me. I can't believe it. So uh, we'll polish it up. We will definitely take it to the store, get it verified, get a, a nice little box for it. And I am excited. Bingo. Yes, yes, yes. Bingo almost at the very last minute here. I hope I don't run out of battery, guys. Okay, we got a peace sign thing here. We got some broken bangles. An this one looks like sterling too. No, this one's silver tone. And it's enameled. And we've got some feather earrings. We've got one stretchy. We got another hoop. I think we went through it all. What a way to end it. Tiffany and company. Amen. Oh my gosh, I am so excited and absolutely convinced already. Merely because of the substantial weight the very, very nicely done engraving here, stamping, and the fact that it is small. This is probably a size six to six and a half. Counterfeiter, counterfeiters will do that. And they often do not do a very uh, obscure design as well. They definitely do the return.
Tiffany that everyone wants at one time that it was very popular. So that's what they go for. So all of those telltale signs tell me this is genuine. I appreciate you being here, guys. Go join my Facebook auction group if you're interested. All the details are down below. Hit the thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so. Consider joining as well. And I'll see you soon. Love y'all. Bye.